Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create the fiscal year from the fiscal date right. So this is a fiscal date which I showed you with the help of the calendar order function that you can create in the previous video but you also need to know or let's say you also need a column for reporting to indicate what is that fiscal year for example in this case uh, 1st April 2016 is the fiscal year 2016-17 and so on and so forth for uh, rest on for the other years like over here this is uh, this is the 7th August 2017 so this is 17-18 same way you will have 18-19, uh, 19-20 so on and so forth. So whole idea is how you can create this custom column that is based on your fiscal date. The reason for this is the whatever year, quarter, month and day is being produced is basically based on the calendar year and that is not very helpful. And uh, before I show you just one quick information which is about this sheet uh, that is the Google spreadsheet. So this Google spreadsheet link is present in the description and as you can see that this is the place where I keep all of my videos uh, till like 232 is the current one which is going on. Also the link is present in the column B. Though I, so the idea behind this is that you can come over here, search any of the video that you need. For example, the dashboard related video or any other how to video and things like those along with some of the exercises that I have published in one single sheet. That way you can search easily, jump to the video using the link provided here in column B. Also, you can create your own list out of this. If let's say you have a different learning path or requirement and you can keep it as a bookmark so that whenever you need it, you will get it. With that, let's go back to the Power BI and uh, see it. Also one more thing about the data set. So the data set is present. This is the data set link which I give but within data set you have the Power BI folder. Within that you have the Power BI Superstore sales. That is something which I'm using in my uh, example. All right with that let's move on to the Power BI. Okay so here we have the fiscal calendar or the fiscal date that you can see you we have created with the help of the calendar auto and this is the fiscal year is something which I created while doing the experimentation but I'll show you from the scratch by creating a new column all together. So let's say this is a new column and uh, let's call it fiscal year 1 because if we created same name it will give an error. So fiscal year 1 is something we were going to create with the help of the if function. So we were going to test the condition about uh, in which year we are and accordingly we were going to produce it. So first thing first is we will specify this date right which is 1st April 2016. So that is your date right nothing but this date which is part of the fiscal calendar and that should be your greater than or equals to. So greater than equals to what we have the date right but we need to surround it by a function. So we are basically because we have to uh, calculate the year function or the year related calculation. So we need to identify what is the current year that we are having and then convert it properly into a date so that it should not give any error. Right. And we are saying that if this is what our year is comma four which is the month comma one which is the the date so let's close this and I need to close the date over here so that it is basically creating a proper date so if this date is greater than equal to this date right then what it is saying comma that is basically equals to the same the first date. then we are saying if I go alt enter if I press it now we need to create the uh, this first here which is this one. So we are saying year date. So we are identifying the year that is 2016 that is what we have created it and then we will say ampersand and within double quotes this colon uh, or sorry this dash sign. So this is the dash sign 2016 have come and this dash sign have come and now we will say the first sorry last two character from the uh, next year right so for that we need first year and then date 
right so we have created the date here and we have incremented by 1 to get the 2017 right and then using the write function that we have we will simply say give us the last two characters that will give us this 17 and for the rest of the dates it will continue to get fetched the information so if our date is uh, greater than equals to this date then give us this otherwise what what it simply does is it give us the uh, i'll just copy this control c control v otherwise don't increment by one right and close this so all in all what's going on over here is that we are saying oh, if our date is greater than equals to the 1st April 2000, this 1st April and whatever that date is, then give us the next year. Otherwise, give us the same year, right? And the first two characters of it. And we will close this and click OK. So then what it produces is absolutely the similar output that you need for your reporting. And that way, uh, when you are in fiscal year 2016 or let's say you go down you get 2018 so on and so forth right so over here it is starting from 1st april 2017 it has shifted the fiscal year from uh, 2017 okay this is where i am getting a bit of an error uh, hold on 2016 right so over here it should not change from first of march looks like my this calculation is working fine so let me just see what i am doing differently okay so if i click over here okay so the thing which i am doing differently is i am subtracting minus one so minus one the reason for this is as you could see uh, is as soon as the year is shifting it is basically taking this 2017 from the 1st of April but we don't want this behavior so if I click OK now and correct this formula then I think we are again at the top so let's go down to 1st of Jan yeah so now you see 2016 is coming so that's basically a bit of a manipulation that is going on to take care of your uh, all the fiscal year related and so good that this calculation or this issue comes if you find any other issue uh, in this feel free to reach out but whole idea is that you use this calculation and uh, create your fiscal year right and now everything is working fine okay so with that thank you so much for watching in the next two videos i will going to get and uh, give you the fiscal quarter and the fiscal month as well